Hey, what are we doing? They don't want to bring. You can play with some Starship Rogue coils. All right, let's play with these things. Yeah, we got it. You, you can you can actually take your lens down into the keyhole. Okay. All right. His name's Dimitri. He's got some hidden secrets. Oh, jeez, this will be fun. See if I can. Do we actually have to? There, yeah, there oh yeah, we're good. <laughs> There's some more Rogue coils yeah, going on in there. Fantastic. I see them. But the real treasure. Those are beautiful. Hold this. Those are beautiful. The real treasure is when you get your own eyeball in there. Okay. You can see. You can see your own pupils. It's plugged in. I'm kind of scared. Are we ready? Yeah. Don't right. be afraid. Anything that has power to it's a little concerning. Yeah, but I think you've, if you've I taken it a lot further. <laughs> exactly. You've taken it much further than I have. And if you work the relative perspective there, you can get the key, the keyhole to reflect in your pupil as it spirals out through that infinite wormhole. It's all about finding that relative perspective in the reflection. I can see the reflection of the keyhole. <laughs> I can see it. Nice. Yeah, so his name his name's Dimitri. He Hi, represents Dimitri. the uh, dimethyltryptamine that's developed in our, inside of our pineal gland. Okay. So that's why we got a pineconeal gland to represent that. Okay. You know, that Tibetan Book of the Dead says that 28 weeks in, gest in gestation is when the soul is reborn. Okay. And we also know that the pineal gland is developed at 28 weeks in gestation. So there's a correlating factor there. And the DMT is an amazing compound that actually shares, in my theory, in my, my findings, a lot of... Um, a lot of similarities with magnetics. Okay. So that's why I started playing with the Starship. Fascinating. Course.